Hello, in this short video, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about the Marquee MV Heatmap technology. My name is George Bentink, and I'm the product manager for the MV camera. So let's start off with the basics. The NV cameras are pretty impressive because they do all of the analytics, all of the processing at the edge, that is, in the camera. Now they use the cloud to store the results of this information, allowing you to query it very, very quickly, but it means all the heavy lifting is actually done on the camera and the system scales linearly with the number of cameras that you have. So this data has originally been used for our really exciting motion search technology. So I'm going to give you a quick demo of that. So I'm going to go find some cameras in my network here. I'm going to go look at this uh, bike room set of cameras. And what motion search is, is the camera processing what has changed in every single frame. It then stores a mathematical model of what changed in the cloud is a very small entry. So it means we don't have to send all that big, heavy video data into the cloud. We just send this very small piece of metadata indicating what changed. But the thing that's really interesting is we calculate this for the entire scene. So everything the camera sees, you don't have to select an area ahead of time. So for example, if I'm interested in this bicycle on the bottom right hand side of my uh, screen here, and I want to know when that move changed or was put here, I can select it. So I'm going to select the bicycle here and it's going to go off and check to see what happened. Now I'm just going to adjust a couple of my filters here and I'm going to start zooming out on my timeline to find out when something happened to this bicycle. So I'm going to get some events here and right, we now have a list of events. So I'm going to go click on this one and it's going to go and retrieve the video from the camera for the video um, for this uh, particular incident. So what happened in that uh, very fast uh, sort of demo there was we queried the cloud for what changed where that bicycle was. The cloud went and looked at its list of entries and then it went and gave me this list down here. I clicked on one of the entries at uh, this uh, top one and it retrieved the video directly from the camera that related to that entry and in this case it was this bicycle. So you can go and find things pretty much anywhere, anytime when the camera has had video and it's incredibly efficient because it only retrieves the video you ask for. So you can see we've got all this blue around here which shows parts of the scene that the camera has detected as having changed. And because we know this for everything within the scene, it means we can use that to do some pretty cool analytics. And this is where the heat maps come in. So if I go over to our analytics tab for this camera, and I'm going to go to, uh, say, Thursday here. We now find all of the data that the camera has processed, all of this metadata to do with motion, summarized on an hourly basis for the period of time that I've selected. And this is displayed as a heat map uh, where the sort of red color here is the sort of highest amount of movement. And then it sort of graduates through yellow to green and to blue and then to an area of no movement. So what you can do is you start to see interesting areas, interesting patterns, places where people have been, and depending on how you've placed the camera, this can be really highly granular. So this particular camera is uh, great for keeping an eye on the bicycles and making sure uh, no one's taking bicycles they shouldn't be, but not necessarily the most exciting when it comes to looking at motion heat maps analytics. So we're going to go look at another camera. So I'm going to go look at our terrace camera here. And what's interesting about this one when we go look at the analytics uh, is you can start to see patterns of where people have gone. Now, we're looking at today, so we haven't had many hours in today actually uh, happen yet, still early in the morning. Um, and yet we can see that over here we've got a door and this is the path that people have taken across the terrace uh, to go look at the view. And the reason they're going to look at the view, and I'll go show you hopefully from another camera in a second, is we have a fantastic uh, vista outside the Meraki office of the Bay Bridge and sunny San Francisco. So people have been walking out to go have a look at that from the edge of the balcony. And we can go and we can go pick another day. So let's go pick uh, Wednesday, for example. And now we get to see, uh, again, in great detail where people have gone. So we can see there's been a, a large path along here. Or if we look at this one up here, uh, not many people have left this door. In fact, they've come from the door further up here. So there's another entrance further along the terrace and they've walked along around this table and then they've spent quite a bit of time walking up and down, probably taking pictures of the uh, beautiful vista out there.
So this allows you to take all of that motion data that you can query and summarize it in a graphical form, allowing you to sort of digest that huge amount of information very quickly and easily. And this allows you to see hidden patterns in masses of data without having to go through and query it all one by one. So that's the brief introduction to the Meraki motion heat maps. We see as the, uh, the team at Meraki working on the camera, a great future for camera as a sensor. So when you look at a camera at its most basic form, it is an imaging sensor that looks at lights. And we can take that data and we can record video and use that to provide security at the most basic form. But as we become more uh, capable at delivering, analytics in the camera, combining that with cloud technology, we can expand the value the camera offers to an enterprise, to a school, to someone in public sector by offering additional insights. And this is just the start into the analytics offering for the Meraki MV camera. And as with all Meraki products, this feature was delivered through the cloud with no additional purchasing or licenses required and is now available to all Meraki customers. I highly recommend you go and give it a go. So sign up for a free trial on our website and you can start testing out these analytics. And if you'd like to know more about motion search or other parts of the camera technology, please take a look at one of our other videos.